Organic vegetable production urgently needs new cultivars for organic farmers, which are resilient under changing climate condition. This vegetable grower from Sicily explains very well how small farmers need new and suitable vegetable varieties to stay in business. Qua nella nostra zona è destinata a morire perché i giovani non ce ne sono più. Scompariranno anche una serie di culture tradizionali, soprattutto i broccoli. Le aziende che producono seme non esistono, è una tradizione non so da quanti anni che esiste, che noi riproduciamo ogni anno tutti i vari semi del blocco, che purtroppo credo che fra qualche anno sono destinati a scomparire. In Brezov, we therefore work on the development of new cultivars for broccoli and other brassicas, bean and tomato. In this video, I would like to present you some of our partners, their work and what we have achieved after the first three years of the project. Let me first introduce you to our coordinator, Ferdinando Branca. Hi, I'm Ferdinando Branca from Catania University in Sicily. I'm the coordinator of Brexit project and the project deals with the urgent needs to provide organic cultivars to farmers around Europe and abroad for contrasting the ongoing climate changing conditions. Before you can start breeding, you need to find suitable genetic resources. Taking the example of Prasica, Peter Wally explains the genetic diversity typically included in the project collection. The partners across the Brazil project assembled a Brassica um, core collection. The core collection captures diversity across the different morphotypes. So things like um, kohlrabi, cabbage, um, at the back here you can see um, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts and kales. And we also used um, crop wild relatives to supplement the collection to add additional diversity that may not have been captured during domestication. To capture the um, an overview of the genetic diversity that's present, we've genotyped the collection and then this enables us to look at regions of the genome that are associated with our target characteristics and make selections. Pre-breeding tasks are led by Roberto Papa. Roberto, where do you find these genetic resources? Before doing any type of breeding, you need to find the genetic resources. The diversity of the crops that often is present in wild materials or in land races, and then you have to develop new variety by selection and breeding. Roberto now tells you which traits are selected for, giving some examples on beans. The taste is important, but also the nutritional value is important. At the same time, we are focusing on resistance to pathogen and to pests because we want our variety in organic to be resistant and be able to tolerate this type of pest, as well as abiotic stresses like drought and heat that is very important, for instance, for tomato when you grow it in a glass house. What will you do with all this data at the end? All this information should be analyzed by genetic data, genomic data, and then we'll be able to develop tools to assist the breeders for selection based on the association between genetic data and phenotypic data. Not only that, the other aspect is to make available this information, all this information that we are producing in Brezov. And for this reason, we are developing a database that will incorporate not only the data that will come from World Package 2, but also the data that will come from World Package 3. Here is an example of the work done in this work package. Our partner INRA searches for natural resistance of beans against anthracnosis, a disease caused by a fungus. They work under controlled conditions and artificially inoculate the plant with spores of the fungus. Eight days later, the plants are scored as resistant or susceptible. INRA and other partners are also using molecular biology techniques to identify molecular markers linked to disease-resistant genes in order to help for the breeding of new, naturally resistant varieties. Now we move to the next step, which is the actual breeding and selection process. This is led by Jaime Proens from Spain. In this work package, we evaluate local varieties and perform breeding programs for the selection of materials of beans, brassica and tomato adapted to organic agriculture. 
The materials are screened for agronomic performance, biotic and abiotic stress tolerance, and also for quality traits. So far, we have identified local land races and bred new materials with excellent performance under organic farming conditions. Teodoro Cardi from CREA coordinates all the project's activities on tomato. Once suitable varieties are identified and characterized, we need to produce high-quality seeds. This is coordinated by Vezhenov and France. The main objective of this work package is to improve the quality and quantity of organic seed production for the three major crops of the breast of projects, so tomato, broccoli and snap bean. With our partners in this uh, more package, we organize uh, trials in uh, France, Italy and Switzerland to evaluate agroeconomical uh, conditions for organic seed production. We also test uh, biocontrolled products against major uh, seed-borne pathogens of the three crops and we develop molecular tools that could be used in the future to control the genetic and uh, sanitary quality of uh, seedlots. Here you can see a trial conducted in France to evaluate the impact of organic fertilizers on tomato seed production. And I am leading work package 5. Here we evaluate and select advanced breeding lines coming from the previous work packages, but also old and niche varieties and land races. We test the most promising material under normal organic production conditions on farm in several European locations. Here you see our trial in Switzerland on a farm near Zurich. This is our partner VRDS Bacau field trial in Romania on tomato and beans. And here you see the trial run by our partner CREA in Italy. Utad in Portugal runs a broccoli trial on farm using biodegradable plastic mulch. Brezov partners also with China and this is very valuable as China is a key player in organic vegetable production. After the first three years, we have promising results for open pollinated varieties of broccoli, advanced breeding lines of tomato and niche snap bean varieties. We have developed a collection of materials for our breeding activities and future breeding programs. Thanks to this uh, European uh, cooperation, we are advanced much more faster than uh, if each country would uh, work uh, alone. If you want to know more about Brezov, please follow us on social media.